today i am going to discuss a very interesting topic here so which is called as web scraping before i write dive into the program how to do so let's just see what i am going to do so here there is a uh, small line of code small number of lines of code you can see if i run this code so what it is doing uh, okay p okay so once i run this code see what it is doing so it can it is showing some lines here so what are the lines fashion boss accused of exploiting men then uk arms giants win for 4 billion euros so from where it is coming so near here you see the website of bbc i have op opened here so you can see the first headline the fashion boss accused of exploiting men so that is what is displayed in the first line okay next you can see the second uk arms giants win over 4 billion euro across submarine contract so this is the second line so what i am exactly doing here so whatever the news headlines are there in this bbc.com.news in this website so i am just trying to fetch all those news just using a python code and we can do this for any other website also so that's where we are going to show, see in the video today so for for the timing i'll just delete the code and from the beginning we'll start and we'll understand what is the meaning of each line that we are going to write so that it will be easy for you so let's start so before we start we need to uh, before we write the program to uh, fetch the data from the website or the bbc uh, news channel we need to do something that is called as we need to import the library so i need two li basic libraries here so first one i'll import here is request so it will be required and let me zoom in little bit so that you can see it properly okay so this much is enough i guess so import request it is required to send the request data to the website then i have to import something uh, uh, i have to write this as from bs4 so that's a package and from that package i need to import the library that is beautiful soup so remember however i am writing i'm writing the same way capital b and capital s is there so these two libraries are required for me to do the web scraping so next what we are going to do uh, so here we will be requesting the website okay so how to request i need the url first so i'll take a variable here url that is equals to what is the url where to get the url so whichever website you want to find the news so just click on that and you will see this full url starting from https so just copy that url here and then you take as a string here and paste it fine remember it should be a string that's important here okay after the uh, this uh, url is there so then you have to write uh, the response it's just a variable i'm going to create which is going to get the response code from me when the url is requested so that is equals to i'll just write requests dot get in bracket i'll write the url that i have written here fine now it is going to send the request for the from there and it is going to uh, find the uh, response code for that so i'll for confirmation i'll print the res uh, response code as well so that if the response code is 200 so that will ensure that i have received the signal so i am assuming that you have some idea on ht means html and this uh, how to send url and all so i'll just print the response here so with a message i am just printing it fine so after we get the response then what we have to do we have to do a process something called as parsing or we'll write parse the html document now if the response is successful here then we will pass the html document so for that what we need to do so we need to first it's a process is called a soup sometimes so i'll just take a variable soup so that is equals to i'm going to use the library that i have imported so this is so from the beautiful soup sorry so from the beautiful uh, soup what we are going to do so response whatever response we got so response dot content okay so just write like this and then here you write html dot parser so what it will do it will just get me the uh, full uh, html core for me 
so uh, let us do one thing let me try to run this much of code only and see what till now we have got so if i run this code so you see it is just giving me the full html code for this and if i go to the this website and right click and inspect here if you click on inspect so here also we'll see the whole html code will come up so this html code is being now fetched for us fine so inside this html code only our data is there so if i right click on this particular news and go to inspect so here you can see under this class so this uh, news is there fine so if i go it it's getting highlighted here that means uh, this news is under this class so basically the html code of the page contains all the content that i need so uh, this is just to make sure that we are going in the right way so here i won't print this soup variable because it's a very big variable i don't need also to print it i need the html content to be fetched and then i am going to find the news from there so next is what we are going to do so extract the news from the from html fine so uh, extract the news means basically news headlines we are going to extract we are not going to extract everything okay so how to do that so for that let me create a variable that is headlines because we are going to get the headlines here so that is equals to from the sub variable i need to write find underscore all so what it will do it will find i am going to search for something in the html code and all the values so whatever the values is there it will search and under the headline it will store the value fine okay now find all from where what we are going to find we are going to find something called as h3 so generally this uh, header is a h3 is a file so i will just show you here uh, under that all the uh, all your uh, means so under this h3 we are going to find all our headlines here so right now i am not able to see in this website uh, so h3 is actually the thing where all this uh, i'll just try to find it here h3 so so many uh, h3 is there fine so i am not able to see a proper one so see here this one okay so this h3 class so this h3 so these uh, these are the places where actually the news headlines are there so that's why you're just finding the h3 document there so it will automatically find all the h3 documents for me and once i have the headlines i am going to display the headlines okay so display so display the headline so how to display it so here you see this headlines is a combination of all the headlines so for that here we need to take a for loop here because i want to print all the headlines so if you only print the headline it may print the last one only okay so let's see that if i do only print the headline what it does then we'll see now if i run this code see what is doing so in the s3 class so many headlines are there and uh, you can see man dies in australia so this is also a headline so if i only just print headline so it is printing in a way that it is difficult to understand so we will not do in that way so for that what i am going to do i will be using a for loop here so for headline where in headlines so see the difference here if one s is extra here you can see so for headline in headlines i am going to print so just print headline dot so you have if you uh, sorry headline dot text if you write here and then i'll make sure that every time it prints a headline it is in a new line so that's what i'm doing here so if uh, what i'm doing here the headline dot text only the text file from the headline i am going to print so, okay only this much i am going to print i am not going to print the header class and all those things so you can see here what has happened everywhere it starts with a h3 class that means a header 3 class so basically it is a headline part fine now if i run this code let us see what happens here so you can see all the headlines now are available here and uh, one by one all the headlines are there so 
all the highlights in this uh, website i'll just close this inspect uh, okay so whatever the headline was there in this particular page or oh, now everything is available here so this mobile and get in touch it is not a headline but it is written under the h3 h3 header so that's why it is coming here so uh, the last headline the city charging visitors to enter so here it should be at the end somewhere so here the city charging visitors to enter so this is the last headline here right then all other thing that is coming because that is under the h3 header fine so i think it's very easy that how you can uh, create a simple python course which can fetch the data from you from a website and you can print all the values now if you want that uh, this has to be displayed over some led display or something like that you can do with that raspberry pi and instead of printing all the values at a time you can print one value at a time with a time gap of one second or two second so let me show that also how you can do that so for that i need to import one library here so i have just imported one library that is called as time because for anything i want to create a delay i need a time so here i'll write time dot sleep and here i'll write let's say one second i'm writing so if i run the code now let's see what happens so see after every one second gap it is printing one headline for me you can make increase to 10 second or 15 second if you have a single line display you want to do it and then you can do it okay so all these things will get printed one by one now let's say if you want to print that in only one line so you need to make a small change here in the code just add this end equals to slash r so what it will do it will just uh, clear one line and overwrite on the same line so if you want to display in that way it is also possible so let us see it is going one by one once it is complete we will run the code here so that's it get in touch and it's done and uh, now if i run the code again so let's see what happens here okay this uh, end r is actually it is deleting the the space was there it is just deleting that now if i delete this value this new line if i don't because i am creating a new line it is not getting uh, printed in the same line so i need to just stop the kernel here and i'll start it again okay now if i run this course so see what is happening here so you can see in the same line it is updating the news fine so that in that way also you can do and uh, if you want to make it scroll also that also you can do so this is how you can create a simple python code that can fetch uh, news from you from a website and it can display over it so thank you in the next video we will see that if you want to display one particular news or one particular headline from your website then how to do it so just to wait for the say, uh, next video there i will be explaining how you can use some other websites also and a particular uh, particular uh, headline of the website that means only one headline or the important headline i don't need all the headlines to read so i just need one headline so that also you can do fine with this video uh, with this note i'll end here thank you